So how? Okay. So how are you doing today? I'm fine. And you? We are great. Doing great. It's it's uh, half hour, half an hour past ten. So we are little sleepy. It's Indian time. We have to sleep around eleven or twelve. Yeah. So it's it's actually normally in India it's ten thirty. So around eleven we we sleep. Okay. So thank you for being here, guys. Yes, yeah, it's our pleasure. So it's our opportunity. Here. Great. So what I want to to do first is to introduce myself. So I'm now an angel investor and a startup mentor. I've been working for Deloitte for 11 years and the, the last seven that I stayed there I worked for consulting so I'm not sure if you know Deloitte but it's one of the most important consulting firms of the world and considered one of the best in strategy which was the area I was working for so I stayed there for f seven years in consulting I've got to a position of an executive a senior executive there and then I left to work with startups and now I'm focusing on startups investing and also mentoring so I stayed on Silicon Valley uh, in 2017, the end of 2017, in order to to get to know the environment, in order to know how the startups works, what was the main topics that they was working on. So just to be aware of the environment, because I was used to play in the big companies world and going to the startup world it's a bit different so in this case now i can help startups because i have the experience of living in silicon valley and also because i have dealt with big companies, multinationals, and in different areas related to strategy. Commercial excellence, pricing, uh, strategic planning, and all view of big companies. And now I can relate that with the startups. Okay, okay, great, great, Mr. Tonza. So and we also know, okay. What I want to do is to hear from you. And how I, I want, want to do that. I want okay. to hear your speech. Okay, so Mr. Tonza, this is what we are trying to get into the sports, fitness and wellness industry. This is our startup. We are, we are calling it the locker room. And we are trying to redefine how sports are looked at in the Indian markets and how people go about fitness, about their daily fitness, which includes their holistic fitness, mind and body. Vision with this startup is to completely transform how Indian people look at the fitness, how they use fitness, how they use it as a service and how we can fit this fitness into their routines so that we get them to good health levels, we can give them complete well health, health, good health, we can give them complete wellness and we do try to do this with multiple of things that we take care of under our brand. So we identified some key problems which we think exist currently in the industry that is the enhance and transform fitness and fitness of Indian youth and Indians overall whoever the people that we are trying to target is the youngsters to make them aware first and then spread the vibe of becoming healthy in a fun and interesting way. We also want to bring in the systems that are not currently commercially available to all the that they should have. People do not have recovery systems easily accessible. They cannot easily access the recovery systems. 
they are specially meant for the athletes that are into professional or semi professional sports also we are trying to capitalize on the trend of growth of football in india and all the trends that are running in this market related to consumers own health so these are the problems mr stonza that we have identified with our own research we identified that there are lack of weight free training and wellness centers by weight free training i mean the conventional gyms have all the weights the equipments the heavy equipments and they provide training and fitness in a fixed structure they do not let go of the conventional machines so here we are trying to get into the weight free training modules we want to introduce to people the weight free training modules that are available in the west we have also figured out that there are the indian community is not as educated as it should be and the trend is slowly slowly growing that they are also becoming very conscious about their mental wellness they have been into physical wellness but mental wellness they are they are leaving it behind also there are the athletes who train regularly or train five times a day they need their body to recover fast so there are no commercially available facilities that help a consumer to recover to to recover their muscles to recover their energy levels or simply a recovery system they don't they know about how to train but they do not know how to recover also there is there are some playing specific problems like whenever or someone is playing or training they feel excessive heat in india so the environment here is very hot and they feel excessive heat also the football trend is growing in india so people here in the semi professional world we have been players ourselves we have been playing for 12 years i have played football for 12 years he has played football for 12 years so we you, we have started we have seen this trend growing in india where people big players they have laid down pitches artificial pitches that replicate the quality which is installed in stadium stadium in a full size stadium so they create small pitches which is which are called the artificial playing surfaces and then they allow players like us the amateur players the small teams they can play 5v5 or 6v6 in small quantity they can utilize that pitch and they can play and have that feel that they would have while playing on a professional football turf those facilities also the current trend here is in the, the online food delivery market here is in in india is booming right now but there is no such big player or i would say a, a marginally average player who only just focuses on the fitness foods which is going to be according to me a very 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 big market in the future because here people in india they are becoming diet conscious they are becoming health conscious they have delivery for food but those foods are fast foods whenever we open swiggy or zomato these are the local companies that deliver food they have plenty of listings about the restaurants but they do not have a section which only caters to the people who are diet conscious and they want to have plenty of options in their diets they only want to see the restaurants that provide them with good high quality healthy organic foods that help their muscle help their health their physical and mental health also the ease of access is something that we have identified as the problem this is the solution that we try to propose into the market <coughs> we are trying to create a themed fitness arena with professional locker room visuals as it is written we are trying to emulate the feel inside a professional locker room and we are trying to create that ambience to have the psychological edge with the customers so this is what these, these are the services that we have mentioned that we are trying to get into this idea play under the play we have our our network which will provide us with fifa approved artificial playing turfs we have also innovated our in field cooling system that we can introduce we can install onto the artificial turf and while the players play it sprinkles water or it makes the environment cool to make it more comfortable for them also these are the recovery systems i'm talking about the ice bath and muscle recovery solutions these solutions are not available to the consumers commercially they do not have these facilities in a in a gym or in a training center they have facilities like these in in a sports facility especially like that athletes or maybe a football club have their it has their private 
recovery solutions, but these are not accessible by the normal users, normal consumers like us. Also, in the train section, we try to introduce all the amazing workups that we see on the internet or we know about personally, the weight-free routine. We want to take people off from the conventional equipments to their own weight and to the modules only so that they, it becomes easy for them to work out. They can come to the training center, they can train there even if they are on the move. We provide them with the weight-free training routines. They work from their phone, they are on the move, they can see the uh, training pattern they can work weight free with there is a very very this is a big problem that we do not have skilled trainers so the conventional trainers that we have they just tell you every they, they tell everybody to do the same thing and then they ask you for personal training to get extra money and they train people to pay them extra to get rid of the system and we want to get the skilled trainers to train an efficient class 10, maybe 25, not many people, but they should be skilled trainers giving them proper techniques and proper expert advice. If we can project our brand as an expert solution for their fitness and health, that is the area that we have identified, that people want trust. They want certified expert trainers so that they the goal of getting fit is executed, is completed under our TLR brand or maybe some other gym. They will step onto the gym, they won't become a regular customer, they won't become their their lifelong partners until unless they give them the results with expert trainers. So they do not feel the need to move out, step out, to look out for some other place to get the new trainers. If we give them efficient and skilled training, they will be they will turn into our repeated customers. Here comes the holistic healthcare. The body can be taken care of. It can be conventional gym or this weight free training or anything. But mind here in people India in India, they are they are worried about what the other person will think if we go to the psychologist. All these taboos still are existent in this industry. But slowly, our young generation, understanding from the West, who have got this from us only, the yoga and me meditation science, we want to reintroduce. We want to rebrand meditation as a tool to attain success and happiness. People are looking for success, people are looking for happiness. The uh, meditation, the, the art of meditation, it scientifically proves that the effects it has on the brain, it slows down the brain, it gets it into the theta wave and then a person is more efficient, more productive, more creative. So these values actually lead to a better style of living and enhanced life where people are happy and they are also attaining success there because they are clearly focused. Here the agenda is to get this into their routine so that they purchase from us daily to get the mind in their routine. These services that we provide, we want to provide them in a way that they do not move anywhere else. They know these are the experts, they are taking care of my training, they are taking care of my eating, they are taking care of my mind, they are taking care of my body. Also the rejuvenation therapies and meditation therapies the, specifically the rejuvenation therapies, they are offered by, I would say, tantric people like we tell spiritual people, they, they tell you to go off for 15 days on a on a ashram and then do the rejuvenation therapy here. We want to bring that therapy into this busy life, into our centers, where people can come for 15 days, enjoy that therapy and they feel relaxed. Also under the mind, I have not added here, but I want to add stress management also, how we want to tell people that we will train them to deal with stress also. This is a big concern in India. People do not know how to deal with stress and they are under a under lot of anxiety. Anxiety creates many troubles. They do not even realize they have anxiety. So we want to get them to train their mind and body. Also, football is also growing in, in exponent. It's, it's growing with phenomenal rate here in India, the popularity. Watch we with watch our purpose is to screen high interest football matches that generate a lot of interest in India specifically. There are supporters like mad supporters. We want to create that atmosphere with the music and ambience where people feel that we have come here to support a the club. They have that environment of similar like minded people and they enjoy the match. This is the events, just the events, not our uh, from like primary source of income, but this is a this is a key area that can be targeted and that can be brought into our startup. With EAT, our purpose is to complete the solution of wellness. 
with eat we all open a small in house cafe the uh, the uh, absolute solution in the fitness arena we also build a small in house cafe to meet their post training demands people who train after they train they need their post workouts they carry their stuffs in their bags and then they move or they after just finishing after they work out they rush to their their places so that they can have their nutrition timing bang on and they can eat whatever they want to eat we want to get that stuff right after the training where they can sit they can chill with their friends it becomes a popular hangout spot and they also have their demands met also <coughs> the other idea was to an app create an app <coughs> which promotes and delivers just the healthy food we want to create a market place for healthy food where people list healthy food the deliveries for the healthy food they have multiple choices to choose from they can choose from they can enjoy the food and this is how we want to hit the eat this is how we want to infuse the technology first by using it for recovery for for better health of an athlete or a person who trains we want to introduce technology to enhance their recovery then they, we want to use technology to allow people to book their spots like i mentioned this is our vision with in the starting phase and then it expands then we want to create a online delivery for health food market there is one more thing that we want to create is that people here in india there are a lot of small gyms that are not recognized that are only hyper local they might be offering on our data not everyone but they they offer weight free training programs like they have two classes in a day two hour classes where they also give the same service but they are not a big brand they are just localized if we create a marketplace and app where we can get these small players to list their workouts only and we sell the workouts the sessions we sell that if you want to do this session you can go to this place if you want to do this session this is nearby you can go to this place this is how this gets into the the locker room the marketplace that's on the app and also the personalized online training and nutrition is becoming a big space in india so online personalized training and nutrition is becoming a big space in india we want to get into that industry as well we want to provide them with personalized they put in their information we give them their personalized training pattern we give them their personalized nutrition pattern and that's how we use technology these are the stats that we have got from our research this is the size of the industry 7 million users with professional annual membership in india this is the market that we are targeting if we get small percentage of this market we will consider ourselves to be very successful that's just a number in our head but this is the people they want the service but they do not have the service so we are trying to create the service that they want also these are some more stats what people do to become healthy they take gym subscriptions they start exercising at home we cover all these they start eating healthy we cover this they go for a group fitness class or they play a sport also we have targeted we have we have understood we have segmented why do people come to they why do they think of fitness 42% do it for losing weight and then their muscles they sleeping better and functional strength is a good improving energy levels reducing health risk this is the market that we want to target these are the people who are really conscious about their health and they want to make sure that they are healthy physically as well as mentally so this is the first market that we want to hit because these people are already aware and they are looking for a service that fits into their routine that they they find a brand that caters to all their wellness and fitness needs they do not need to go here or there to find what they are looking for this is our business model when we rent out the artificial turf we charge them per hour when we give them a training plan we charge subscription when we give them the watching events they pay per entry when we cater to the eating part we take we charge markup pricing in our in house cafes and then commission when we set up our delivery channel and a chain of apps chain of uh, restaurants that, that we put on our apps we will get commissions when we will give them the footfall from our end under the train part under the train part we are trying to get members we we are not trying to uh think in terms of how many packages we can sell we want to increase our user base 
So initially, we are trying to get as many people on the Giga Giga Giga, and we are launching rapidly. One, three, seven, we launch here, and then we get the series funding. Then we will cover the hyper local market. There are seven million searches every month on Google about hyper local gems. So we want to cover the popular spots so that we can cover the area and people can be targeted easily. And we want to increase the total overall user base for hundred units to forty thousand. That's four thousand, four and four hundred for a unit. Four hundred is just the six hours. The training center is running for six hours, three hours in the morning and three hours in the evening, or maybe two hours in the morning and four hours in the evening. And this comes out to be revenue. This watch includes our events of screening events, also the events that we conduct with. FIFA control gaming. We want to enter small, small parts under the watch function. People are really interested in playing FIFA here. The youngsters, the football community, they enter a tournament. They pay, pay the entry fee. They enter the tournament. They play the tournament. They win. They get the prize money and the rest amount we we get to keep it. So we will <coughs> conduct tournaments for the play. And for watch or gaming console, and then this is the eat revenue, the in-house and offline, the online and offline both that can be reached. The 50,000 users can be done in five years. In the span of five years, 50,000 users can be achieved, and this is how we can proceed. If we just charge minimum amount for delivery or convenience fee, just say rupees 10 or 20, the amount comes to be this. Divided into two sections, offline and online. This is the competition that we have here. This is the on the left extreme, the base plaza. This is the competition that we have in the play sector. The this place was created by base plaza Adidas. Adidas. This is named base plaza and created by Adidas. They have three pitches, artificial pitches, and they just have the pitches. They rent it out, and people go there because it's a brand. It's Adidas. They have small little features to give them the edge. So the main competitor in this category will be our base Adidas base plaza. Then in the fitness and training category, which is the train, we have Pure Fit. This is a new startup. This was started around uh, 2015. Uh, 2015. This was started in 2015. In two years, they have got their user base to one lakh. This is the I'm just trying to project how much users are there. They are willing to use these services, provide if provided in a right manner. They have one lakh users in the uh, training uh, zone, and they also are getting into multiple industries at the same time in the wellness and fitness industry. Since people now trust their brand and they are loving their services because it's never seen before, and they get to do something else, and they are getting fit. And also, their branding and marketing is top notch. Then here is the locker room. We would we are cutting down. This this becomes more convenient because we think the uh, the values that we are giving we are not going to charge them super phenomenal money, but we are going to keep it in the mid range, not too high, not too low, but initially in mid range to attract the customers. In the first month, it's going to be low to have a massive attraction. But slowly, slowly, we keep it in the mid range to cater to all the people because our vision is to get the youth fit. So this is our page, which is the competitive edge. I think we have the competitive edge because of our branding strategy, that is meditation as a happiness and success and health tool. Also because of our new routines that are not here, people are not even aware of it. Also, we get the cooling technology inside our playing turf. We get the recovery facility, ice bath facility to deliver. We are trying to keep the price in that is beneficial for both us and the consumers. Also, we are installing the latest generation of artificial grass, which is also going to be a huge attraction point because visually appealing things are always they they create a lasting impact. Also, we are branding, rebranding meditation as a tool to attain happiness and success. Which also will turn out in our favor, I believe. We are also getting the latest routines that are not seen by people here. They are not aware. We are bringing it from the west. We are 
also getting our own cooling theory to keep the place cool and to keep the players cool we are getting the internationally used which are not used here the technology to recover the athlete's body the ice bath technology also further more technologies to add and we are doing this at a at a mid range price to cater all of them all of the market the ease of options also make us interesting as we offer we choose to offer them daily weekly monthly passes we give them a mass app to manage their bookings we are also trying we will also try to affiliate the other small players in the industry to link with us and market their workouts so that person can pay for workout and enjoy the weight free session at their workout but a through our name this is our go to market strategy the initially the focus will be to raise awareness to brand fitness mental fitness and fitness as a very important value and every human being should focus on that and how it's really important for them to get fit and how getting fit impacts their chemicals impacts their brain and impacts their overall lifestyle this is through content marketing we want to generate interest and then we want to pull them to use our service at a phenomenal price in the initial phases so that they come they try and once they try we try to convert them into permanent customers if everything goes to goes according to our plan we plan to launch our first unit which will be a the locker room play unit it won't have training part but it will have play watch eat and recover it won't have the training part because the playing area needs to be a large area and that area can be bought in an economical price at the area where it is for it is popular on the contrary the training facility needs to be placed in a very popular market that is a hub and people come so we could not call, uh, open these two together so we are dividing train into other unit and play into other unit so the first unit that we kick start is the play unit because with this unit we are very sure that we can run this 100% successfully we have been playing we know the industry inside out how this functions so the first we are confident with the first unit then our strategy will be focused on increasing awareness and attracting the customers we when we build this and we do our part to attract the customers and we do set up everything uh, uh, perfectly we look for the series a funding we look for the series a funding and then our aim with this funding will be to launch 10 units in 2 years or maybe more depending on the funding and the the team that we can get together but the minimum is 10 units this is in the november our first unit gets into the break even we are we will be quitting after this period the cost will be covered by the revenue itself and we do not have to look into this this is a prediction and i think this is this is a fair prediction then after that we go on to launch more units and we want to build a brand in the first two years focused on customer attraction and retention we want to have our edge in the fitness recovery and food category in fitness we want to focus primarily on the mind and also on the body but primarily on the mind to get them inside the brains and to get them into our routine and this is the next slide is of both of us who have worked on this idea we can read about this we have we are former students we have studied in same school then we got out of our course schools and got into separate colleges <coughs> he has studied bba and i have studied the commerce course that is offered here in india we have been part of our various school teams and then college teams we are playing experience in football and also training experience and these are the small things that we have done so this is our last slide in which we are asking 10 million inr for the first unit and to get it successfully running in the market cover cost for 18 months and to get it past the break even point how much it would be in dollars this is in rupees i can if we divide it by 70 it will convert into dollars this is in inr 
I will tell you in a minute. Let me calculate. Yeah, I'm I'm telling you in US dollars. One million. One. It it's about one hundred fifty thousand US dollars. Ah, one hundred fifty. Hundred to one hundred fifty thousand. Hundred. Yes. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is to make comments on each slide and which point I consider that a pitch must have and how it should be so the first slide is the front page with which is your cover let's say so here in your case you bring the name of your product let's say and a small sentence that is trying to define what you do which here in this case is redefining sports and fitness what I like seeing in one slide in the first slide of the presentation is a picture that create connection so if you bring the name of your company the name of your product and an image that represents what you want to bring to the market it will direct connect with the investors in an emotional way so the importance of a picture at the beginning is to create a connection right away try to select a picture that is emotional and that represents the image of your company and what your value proposition will be and then the first sentence that you bring in this slide instead of redefining sports and fitness only you should include what is your value proposition what is the value that you are bringing to the market how are you going to contribute what's the difference that you're going to make in people's lives So if you bring all together in the front page, it will directly connect with the emotional side of your audience brain. brain. So the emotional side of your audience brain. Think about it and remember that the first impression is the most important point of connection that you're gonna create with your audience when you are preparing your pitch and you are starting with a picture that represents what you are bringing it will create that connection it will touch the emotional part of their brain and your pitch will be more uh, you will get more attention and you get their feelings for hearing you more carefully okay got it correct does it make sense absolutely, absolutely. great we can move to the next slide and you talk here about your vision right in a sense, your vision will represent what your value proposition is. So if you include your value proposition in the first slide of your presentation, it will kind of substitute one slide that will tell about your vision 
I think this slide is good but if you are bringing the value proposition at the beginning this slide is not mandatory so if you have if you don't have too much time to make a presentation and to pitch your startup this slide could be condensed it could be reduced with your value proposition but I like the way that you organize this slide you bring picture you bring small sentences you bring a highlight in keywords the layout of this slide is very good what I would add when you talk about your vision I would add a, a time frame here because you said that you your vision is to be a pioneer and leader in sports fitness and wellness industry by providing superior service and user experience with the use of modern technology what I like to do when I'm defining my vision is to establish a timeline so I want to reach at that point in that period of time it will make me more straight to the point to follow my goals month after month year after year until I get there so if you include a time period here it will make you have a clear goal in a right in a, in a period of time that you are seeking to be the and to reach your vision this is one thing that I would add here on your vision and another aspect of your vision is that they, uh, it's not very clear but let me see if I understood correctly your concern is how to present it in a most effective way in order to make investors see that your planning your long time your um, long vision in the long run is to it's not only focus on one thing is really disrupt a whole industry right right yes to to make it a big company to make it it a uh, a very large to, to to make it grow and to make a mark on the world you cannot just have one unit you need to expand you need to use your talent you need to grow for that we needed we, we were just clear with our first unit we were just clear with what we wanted to do in the first say 12 months or 18 months we knew about that but we were not sure when we <coughs> get past the stage how will we grow how will we take how will our vision proceed if we hadn't done this now we had to do this same thing after maybe 16 17 months and then we would be in the middle of some project and we would <coughs> lose time that we could have utilized to grow so this was to make sure that people whoever invests in us in seed funding they get the clear vision of how we want to take this brand further and how and where we want to grow i see i understood your point but at the same time that you could provide investors with a vision that you want to be big you want to cause a real impact in the world they might argue that you might lose focus I completely right. understand what you want and what you are seeking what I would suggest in this part here is to try to be more clear on each one of its vision 
because when you are gonna when you are gonna be a sport leader it's very very big if you are gonna be a fitness leader it's also big and wes wellness industry also so as an investor if I look to your vision that you want to become leader in each one of these industries instead of thinking that you have a big plan and that you want to grow and that you want to make a very good impact in the world starting with India I at the same time would argue that you would be it would be very hard for you to to be able to do that mainly because I, I don't see where exactly you are gonna play because I'm, I'm not sure what where you're gonna play because in sports there are a lot of things in fitness a lot of things wellness also are you gonna play in the market of sports in every sports and you are gonna be a stadium you're gonna be a, a soccer team you are gonna be what I don't know so it's very big only sport is very big but you want to be leader in sports fitness and wellness and wellness we have a whole world of things of possibilities so it's not bad that you want to be big it's not bad that you want to grow it's not bad that you want to make an impact in the world the opposite it's very good however you need to demonstrate focus and a very clear vision on where you want to be and this vision should be reachable okay correct we can go to the next slide problems so when we talk about problems I would start telling a story so if you are able to tell your audience a story of a persona it will be much easier to define the problems and to create a connection with our audience which in this case will be the investors so what I would do here I would create a persona do you know persona? an individual? persona is uh, is a company or are people that has common characteristics and that acts in similar ways so you are gonna tackle a problem of a people or of a company okay. who will be your target and once you are gonna define your persona you need to tell a story here what how is the life of this persona what what is the day by day they wrote in and how they face the difficulties that they have today and that you want to solve okay. so if you are going to be uh, a gym for example but let's just use an example of a regular gym that people goes to work out not including all aspects of your idea only a gym just as an example so if you are a gym you have a persona which is John and John is a worker he is a professional that work 40 hours a week and he is getting fat because he doesn't have time to exercise however we are gonna provide to him a solution 
we are gonna be a gym that opens 24 hours a day and by providing this alternative for John John now will be able to go out of the office even if it's 11 p.m. and he will be still able to go to the gym and exercise and take care of his health so now you need to think on the persona who you are gonna focus um, are you gonna solve the problem of whom? Okay, so we have to focus on the persona. We have to show them how a day in their life will be changed if our solution comes out in the market and how their problems will be solved. The targeted market, the, the segments in the market that we have segmented, basically our target market, how that a day in our target market will be changed if our services are launched in the market exactly okay got in okay so once you have talked about your persona and the problems that this persona is facing right now it will create a connection with the audience which will be the investors why because they will have a clear image on their mind of the problem that you are trying to solve this is one aspect that it's good to focus because i know that you are gonna solve uh, a variety of problems of a variety of public but what i would suggest you to do is to create a story where you could connect the most problems in one single story and you can talk about different personas in this story so you talk about john you talk about mary you talk about different personas so what you're gonna say is john john has this problem and mary has this problem but anne has another problem so uh, how they could live today with those do, with all those problems they face these difficulties they are not healthy they are very stressed and each one of them has problems that our company will solve and then it will bring you to the next slide and it's a perfect match with the flow of the presentation for you to present the solution the way that you are gonna build your presentation it's key to tell a story in a very effective way so the next slide which is the solution that you are gonna bring will address the problems of all personas that will be included in your story when you talk about your solution a very good way to demonstrate what you are gonna propose to your client what you're gonna offer to your client is to bring pictures and images of your product so here you mention topics that you are gonna touch so you're gonna touch the play problem the watch problem the train problem and the eat problem but i can't see the product here what are you gonna what what your product will be in this slide when you present your solution it's key for you to present uh, an idea of what you're gonna bring to the market is it an arena is it a service is it a app is it a software is it what 
try to to create uh, I would say a demo but I'm not sure how easy it would be but what I would do is uh, in a simple way just say that you are gonna build an arena it's a space it's a uh, it's a uh, it's similar to a stadium but in a different way and in each part of this place you are gonna be able to do different activities and in this part of the local of the building you are gonna be able to play in this part you are gonna watch and then you can create a, a story around that so you, you, you're gonna say that John will go to the arena in order to play soccer but then after he had played now he, are, he might be hungry but he needs to eat a healthy food which will be available in the, in the lunch room and then after that he would be able to watch or play video game you know, try to create a story around the problems and around the solution. It will create more connection and it will be easier to understand what you are providing to the market. So, once you have talked about your value proposition, you have created an emotional connection by showing a picture at the first slide and then telling a story of all your personas that will bring you to the solution where you're gonna keep count keep going talking about the story and presenting the idea it's time to say why it's different from other companies that are in the market because you are gonna talk about the problems and these problems might not be solved by the competitors or by, by not be solved completely by the competitors but now you have a solution that really differentiates you from the competitors and then you can bring the compet competition slide right here and you can say that John, Anne and Mary they don't have they don't have their needs met by any solution in the market but with your solution they will be, be they will be able to solve all the, the problems that they are facing now and the competitors they are not willing to do that because they are focusing on other strategy or they are focusing on other aspects so they are focused here, there and there and we, we are different, we are focusing on a complete solution that will be able to solve Mary, John and Anne's problems and in, in order, and the next slide will be the market size because when you talk about the problem, the solution and the differentiation the next slide will be but John, Mary and Anne are alone? No, they are not alone because today in the world we have this amount of people with the same problems as John this amount of people with the same problems as Anne and this amount of people with the same problem as Mary so in the total market of India which is where we are gonna start our business we have x million people that will require a service that we are providing and in the first year we were we are able to get one percent of this market three years from now we will be able to get ten percent of the market and then we are going to expand to other parts of India and other parts of world once we have a consolidated market once we have tested our model and then we'll be able to expand 
it will be less less hard to believe because when you when you present the market size saying that there is 90 billion dollars in opportunities by 2022 it's hard to believe that you are going to you are going to have a very impressive market share in this market but if you start saying that your market your target is in india at the first time and then you you have a plan to make it bigger and to expand to other regions after having the experience after having your model consolidated and tested i will believe easier on your idea and on your project in the slide that you're presenting the market it's uh, when i when i present market size i would present with a geometric symbol like a circle you can use a small circle saying that it's your market share right now or in the next year and then you present the addressable market that is a market that you believe you are gonna reach in the middle term and the total market which is huge but you are not get it completely but it will present the the idea of how big you are gonna be or you will be able to be okay so next slide okay let's talk about your business model now just before talking about your business model let's go back and take a look on the story that you are telling the investor you talk about your value proposition in the first slide with an image that touches the emotional part of the brain and then you create a story to talk about the problems of your personas and match them with the solution that you're going to bring into the market and compare the solution with the competitors saying that this market is big and you are going to start with a small amount of participation so we are going to start with a specific market share and then you're going to grow and how are you going to grow your market share you're going to go your market share by your business model because you're going to charge your products in this is specific ways so we are gonna focus on four products play train watch and eat each one of them will have different business model the first one will be pay per hour the second one will be a subscription the third one will be pay per entry and then the last one will be commissions and we are gonna sell eat or food but you are not saying here how much you're gonna charge if you're gonna charge for everyone equally or if you have different options so in the business model you should present what is the model of revenue that you're gonna have which is presented here but also how much are you gonna charge by each one of them and if there will be different forms of charge of charging people and then you're gonna present your revenue numbers 
you present the investment needs but you didn't mention the valuation so if I'm gonna invest in your company and I would invest a hundred fifty thousand dollars what's the percentage of your company that I would have it's missing here so it's really it's directly connected with the valuation uh, but it's important for investors to know valuation is a complicated theme it's not easy to define we have different ways of defining it but what I would do before defining the valuation is to go back to the strategy review the whole presentation based on the advices that I have gave to you and once you have a clearer view of where you're gonna be what you're gonna do and how you're gonna go to the market you have uh, revenue uh, projections feasible or more feasible and based on those proje projections then it will be the time to take uh, to take time and dedicate time to define the valuation so I believe with all those uh, aspects you would have uh, a very good pitch to present to investors with all information that they would require and at the end what you also need to do is to ask for what you want here in this slide you use funding and contact details in the last slide you should have a call to action you need to have uh, the information about what you want and what you want them to do going forward so after finishing the presentation they will not get their money and transfer to you directly there will be other steps to follow so you need to ask them to take the next step and you need to have a call to action not only the information because the information is missed only the information itself you need to ask directly for a move for an action one very simple th sentence to finish is that would you be able to invest a hundred thousand dollars get 50% of your company 50% 5% of our company I don't know we need to calculate the valuation and in helping us build the next future of the sports and fitness business in India or in the world and many many entrepreneurs that I talked to they are seeking for investments and in their presentation they they require money to make their projects and ideas and startups go out of the paper and have a life but what I see in most of the time is that they need to they need to have uh, an additional help on on their strategy 
on their go to market on the definition of persona and few things that sometimes are missed and it's important to consider for their own business and uh, additional help and additional money would be required but if I would suggest them to choose one I would suggest them to pick advice or to use a mentor to help because it will provide them with the basis that they will need to grow the business if they have the basis they it will be a lot easier to grow the business to get investment to get clients and make it real you need to to find the correct uh, investor I don't know who it might be or who possibly might invest in India but probably if you try to connect with the ecosystem the startup ecosystem in India which I know it's growing maybe making connections talking to other entrepreneurs try to find meetups try to find uh, connections in, in in the market that might open you door doors I think that would be the best way to get the investment in India I know that there are investors in US a lot of investors in US that want to invest in ideas they are in there are a lot of them in Silicon Valley but I'm not sure which type of project they are investing in and I'm not sure if this would be the best option for you to reach them directly without knowing them or having a relationship with a close relation or connection with them I would I would guess that you should start looking for them in England in, in India first try to go into the ecosystem of startup there and uh, ask ask for connections ask for for people to introduce you to other people and that's the way okay okay guys thank you have a thank good you. night thank you, Mr. Bye bye.